Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights, Archdiocese of Detroit. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is December the 2nd. When I was on my sabbatical in Rome some 15 years ago, I got to visit a lot of churches. And the oldest church I got to see was St. Vivian. Well, I have to say, I didn't know much about St. Vivian and why this old church was still standing and what was the history behind it. Well, the saint, original name is pronounced Bibiana, but we know her now as St. Vivian, it's the same person. Uh, her father was a Christian. She lived in the mid 300s, so Christianity is legal and uh, many people are coming to the faith. But then a certain emperor came about. He's the last pagan emperor. Mind you, Christianity has been legal now for a good 50 years, and his name was Julian. Uh, he had, the nickname is Julian the Apostate, which means he's going to go against the faith, he's gonna oppose the faith. He decides that he doesn't like Christianity. He liked reading about the old pagan gods and the old uh, pagan temples, and he thought he would bring all of that back. Uh, so he decided to change the leadership of the empire into pagans, and then from there moved down, down the line to the common people themselves. Well, Vivian's dad was a very important Roman. He was a prefect. And of course, being a Christian, he refused to renounce his faith. So Julian had him executed. And then subsequently, also had the daughter, Vivian, executed. Well, Julian the Apostate only reigned for two years and then was killed. And the, the, the next emperor quickly you know, pronounced Christianity legal again and was a Christian himself. But the idea of killing this, this young girl so appalled the people of that day that almost immediately after burying her, there was a demand to build a church upon her grave. And so it was, and it still stands today, St. Vivian in Rome. 